Hello students, we are going to discuss today the push down automata. Mm, that is the <clears throat> machine part of uh, type 2 language that we have already discussed. That is a context free language generated from context free grammar. Its machine part is PDA. So, as we have already discussed in the initial classes, that every types of languages type 0 to type 3 all are having the corresponding machine part like <coughs> type 3 language or regular language uh, having its corresponding machine part finite automata mm, <coughs> then type 2 language there is a context free language generated from context free grammar having its machine part pushed down automata similarly the type 1 language that is the context sensitive language uh, generated uh, from context sensitive grammar having its machine part linear boundary automata and the finally the topmost uh, in the hierarchy there is a superset of all the languages that is a type 0 language uh, <clears throat> generated from the unrestricted grammar having its machine part Turing machine that we will discuss uh, in the last unit after PDA. <coughs> Now in push down automata, um, actually um, in a nutshell we can say before uh, going to its mathematical definition in a nutshell we can say it is actually basically finite automata plus stack, here stack concept is introduced that was not present in finite automata that is the additional uh, one characteristic or property that has been introduced in push down automata. So in a nutshell we can say finite automata plus stack. PDA can be defined uh, now math, uh, coming to the mathematical definition PDA can be defined mathematically as follows it is a combination of seven tuples that is uh, Q the set of states then <coughs> set of input symbols or set of alphabet then small q0 belongs to capital Q that is nothing but the initial state then the transition function uh, we will see <coughs> what is the formal transition function in the next slides then F that is the set of final states so up to this Five tuples it is exactly same like the finite automata. Now two additional tuples have been introduced here. One is S, capital S, uh, denotes the set of stack symbols and Z0 that is the initial symbol in the stack. These two last two uh, <coughs> tuples have been introduced uh, just to uh, implement or accomplish the concept of stack or <coughs> LIFO. So last two tuples are related with stack <coughs> concept. Now coming to the types of transitions or moves, uh, <coughs> we have already seen in the last slide that is on transition function is there like finite automata every machine part having its uh, own transition function having its own format or syntax. Here basically two types of transition functions are there. One is non-null transition and non-null move. Sometimes we tell move also instead of transition. So non-null move, another one is null move. We will see in the next slide. In the non-null move. Uh, the basic concept is that <coughs> current input symbol which is under the redirected always will be consumed and redirected will move <coughs> one point right after consuming that symbol. So that's why it is a non-null move that is uh, always uh, a valid input symbol from the string will be consumed that's why non-null move. Uh, and the general <coughs> syntax uh, of the transition function uh, is given in this slide you can see. Uh, the left hand side of the transition function contains uh, three different entities that is a current state, current input symbol and stack topmost symbol because the stack concept is there. So this is the basic difference with the finite automata transition function. In finite automata transition function we have seen the current state and current input symbol and <coughs> these two entities were only there because there was no stack concept since your stack concept is there. So third entity is coming in the left hand side of the transition function that is a stack topmost symbol. <coughs> And the right hand side of the transition function contains the transited state in which state the machine will be transited from the current state. So that is uh, same um, as in finite automata. In finite automata also we have seen transited state. And uh, second one is new that is the uh, <coughs> push symbol and the stack topmost symbol combination. That means the current symbol that you want to push into the stack uh, and uh, the current topmost symbol that is already there in the stack so these two combination you have to write as a second entity in the right hand side of the transition function so this is one variation uh, different variations are there three variations are there actually in the non-null move so this pushing related variation um, will uh, work when any new symbol 
is being pushed into the stack. So this is the first variation. In the second variations, uh, in the second left hand side of the transition function uh, format is same. There is a current state, current input symbol, and stack top symbol. And uh, the right hand side, the first entity is same, transited state, uh, like finite automata in which state you are transiting. So, first entity in the right hand side of the transition function in PD also exactly same, like finite automata, that means in which state the machine will be transited. But the second entity is a new, second entity was not present in the transition function of finite automata because the stack concept is there. So stack related some uh, symbols or some string we have to mention here in the second entity of the right hand side of each transition function. So the first version we have seen uh, for uh, if we want to push something then push symbol and the stack topmost symbol currently these two combinations we have to write. In the second variation uh, if the topmost symbol is popped from the stack. So that is another uh, type of action we can take on the stack, push or pop. Mm, so if we take the action pop, then the current uh, topmost symbol from the stack will be pop. So mm, the second entity will be epsilon uh, in the right hand side of the transition function. So that we can see in the second variation, point number two. And the third variation is um, if none of the push and pop operations are performed. So this can be another type of situation that can arise when uh, <coughs> any particular string uh, will be accepted through any PDA um, <coughs> following any context free language. Uh, we will see, we will see different examples will come to different examples. You will see that uh, sometime this type of situation uh, will be required, will be needed that none of the push and pop operations uh, should be performed on the stack. So in that case, stack topmost symbol will remain unaltered because we are not pushing anything. So no new symbol will come on the top of the current uh, topmost symbol uh, or we are not popping anything. So current topmost symbol will not be popped. So current stack topmost symbol will remain unaltered. So what we will see the current stack topmost symbol, it will remain same in the right hand side. Of the transition function the second entity so this is all about non-null move now let us go to null move in case of null move also uh, the basic uh, uh, general form of the transition function is same in the left hand side three entities and the right hand side two entities uh, here also three different variations are there first variation if a new symbol is pushed into the stack uh, then right hand side of the transition function second entity will be the uh, push symbol that symbol you want to push and uh, current stack topmost symbol these two combination uh, in the second variation if the topmost symbol is popped from the stack um, then again same the like non null move the second entity will be epsilon because you are popping the current topmost symbol from the stack and in the third variation if none of the push and pop operations are performed uh, similarly like non null move uh, if uh, situation demands then we may not push or pop any thing from the stack or to the stack so in that case uh, your second entity in the right hand side of the transition function uh, will be same that is a stack topmost symbol the same stack topmost symbol that is currently uh, existing in the stack mm, but here the difference is mm, the, that is the basic difference between non-null and null move is that in the left hand side the second entity here always it will be epsilon because second entity in the left hand side of the transition function we have seen in the non null move that was the current input symbol some valid input symbol uh, would have been given if it is a non null move uh, and that uh, valid symbol of the string will be consumed but since it is null move that is the basic difference that's why name itself implies here null so null move so that means without consuming any valid input symbol of the string uh, the machine has to proceed further so that's why here yeah, the second entity uh, in the left hand side of the transition function will be always epsilon remember it so these are all about uh, different types of moves or transitions uh, what are their general form uh, uh, how they work so these we have discussed now uh, let us uh, turn our attention to the next slide that is uh, uh, how the acceptance uh, will be announced here in PDA that means what are the acceptance criteria in case of finite automata some acceptance criteria was there like there must be path from initial to final state uh, for any string to be accepted so if any string <coughs> 
if for any string there is a path from initial to final state such that that path spells out that string we, we always declare or we always announce that uh, the corresponding find automata is accepting the string similarly here what is acceptance criteria so that we can announce at a certain point of time that yes pda will accept this string so here acceptance criteria is there the acceptance criteria is follows you can see from the slide in the pda acceptance uh, will be performed either through empty stack or final state so here final state concept is also there like uh, finite automata we can uh, show the acceptance we can announce the acceptance uh, through final state but here one introductory concept is used that is your empty stack so uh, in most of the problems here we'll uh, we'll see we'll try to uh, show the acceptance using empty stack only and because final state acceptance we know uh, that we have uh, implemented in finite automata also but here uh, since it is a new concept in pda because stack concept is present in pda stack concept was not present in finite automata so we'll uh, try to show the acceptance uh, in most of the problems through empty stack so in case of empty stack acceptance the stack needs to make empty when an entire valid string is consumed so remember this that means uh, if the string is valid that means st st the string is following the pattern of the language so from that language that uh, particular string can be generated then that is a valid string it is called valid string so we have to always show that value string should be accepted so how to show the acceptance we have to construct the pda in such a way that when the entire value string is consumed that means all the symbols of the value string has been consumed at that time stack we have to make anyhow empty that is the main criteria so we have to construct we have to design the pda that means the transition functions we have to write in such a way that uh, when the entire valid string is consumed all the symbols of the valid string has been consumed at that time stack should become empty so for invalid string that means uh, for the language for which you are generating pda from that language a particular string cannot be generated so that is called invalid string because that string uh, is not following the pattern of the language uh, so in that case obviously that invalid string should not be accepted not a single invalid string should be accepted uh, by the corresponding PDA like finite automata we have seen we have discussed several times at this point that each and every value string uh, from the corresponding regular language for which you are constructing finite automata must be accepted but not a single invalid string should be accepted so invalid string means that the string that cannot be generated by following the <coughs> pattern of that language so here language is uh, CFL context free language like in case uh, of finite automata the language was regular language okay so uh, from any particular cfl pattern if any string we can see cannot be generated it is not possible to generate that string so that is invalid string so that string should not be accepted so when you construct pda you have to keep in mind this point very important point that for invalid string uh, when the entire string will be consumed that means each and every symbol of the invalid string uh, will be consumed by the machine at that time stack should not be empty if the stack becomes empty when the entire invalid string has been consumed when all the symbols of the invalid string has been consumed at that time if stack becomes empty by anyhow then that invalid string will also be accepted but that is not desirable because invalid string should not be accepted but for valid string uh, we have to construct or design the PDA that means we have to write the transition functions in such a way that when the entire value string has been consumed that means each and every symbol of the value string has been consumed at that time stack must be empty <coughs> then we can say that we can announce that through the um, empty stack the string has been accepted we can announce that so keep in mind this point this point is very important <coughs> to design any PDA to construct any PDA <coughs> and in case of final state acceptance that is another um, way to show the acceptance of any string by any PDA um, that is the final state using final state in case of final state acceptance the stack need, need not be empty rather than the machine has to stop in the final state when an entire value string is consumed that means in this case when the entire value string has been consumed all the symbols uh, <coughs> of the value string has been consumed at that time machine should stop in the final state so it is uh, exactly same like find automata 
uh, when the entire valley string has been consumed each and every symbol of the valley string has been consumed at that time uh, machine should stop here machine means pda in finite automata the machine was finite automata in fadfa here machine means pda the pda should stop in the final step that is <coughs> Now, <coughs> we'll <coughs> discuss some important points that we should remember before uh, starting <coughs> solving different uh, problems, before uh, uh, starting constructing different PDS. We have to, we need to remember some points. Uh, very important, these points we need to remember, otherwise we cannot uh, construct or design <coughs> the guide PDA. That is for each possible situation during acceptance uh, during accepting a string one separate transition will be there there should not be one transition for each step that means whenever uh, you are showing the acceptance of any string through pda there might be say for example 15 steps but uh, for each and every step there should not be one transition because uh, in some steps you will see the same situation will arise so corresponding to one particular unique situation corresponding to one particular separate situation distinct situation one transition must be there so that means for each distinct situation there must be one transition and you will see uh, one particular distinct uh, transition will be repeated in several steps that's why uh, number of steps are increasing but as many steps that many situations may not be there so as many steps that many transitions will not be there but whereas as many uh, distinct situations that many transitions will be there always remember this now what is situation i am telling <coughs> or i am discussing situation i have repeated this word several times the situation what what do you mean by situation situation means a combination of present state current input symbol and current of most symbol in the stack this is a situation this combination is a situation so what is the present state of the machine machine currently is in which state what is the current input symbol which input symbol has been given right now to the machine that means under the read right head and what is the current topmost symbol in the stack that means what is the picture of the stack which symbol is there currently in the topmost of the stack so these uh, three entities making a combination so that particular combination is one situation so if you see that um, this combination is giving a new situation this combination is giving a new situation that means present state kind input symbol kind of symbol all the uh, all these three entities are different or any one of these three is different then also a new situation will arise so if this combination these three entities combination is giving a new situation then only you have to think that for this situation i have to provide one new transition or move so this is called distinct situations so for each distinct situation one uh, new transitional move we have to give not for each step and so, sometimes we'll see that this situation that means this combination will be repeated in several steps that means uh, in those steps uh, the corresponding move that has been given corresponding to that particular situation can handle all these steps so we don't need to provide uh, for each step one transition rather than for each distinct situation one transition so we'll uh, this concept will be more clear as we'll discuss uh, different examples we will see uh, now another thing that <coughs> deterministic and non-deterministic pda what are those like uh, finite automata here is also exactly the same concept that uh, in finite automata we have seen from one particular state if there is only one path to show the acceptance of an string that is deterministic similarly here if there is only one possible move in each transition of any pda then the pda is known as deterministic pda that means for one particular situation that means a combination of present state kind input symbol and kind of most symbol in the stack for this particular situation for one particular situation if there is only one and only one move possible <clears throat> and if it happens for each and every situation or each and every transition then that type of PDA is known as deterministic PDA. Whereas, if we see for a particular transition, that means for a particular situation, more than one moves are possible. That means in the combination of present state, kind input symbol and kind of symbol in the stack, this is a situation. So, for a particular situation, more than one different moves are possible. 
that means for one particular transition more than one different uh, ways are possible <coughs> to move <coughs> then that type of PDA is known as non-deterministic PDA so these are the definitions it will be more clear as we will solve different examples you will see and uh, if there is no transition or move for any particular situation that the machine holds this point also you have to keep in mind uh, very important point uh, so this will be required this uh, last point will be required when you will prevent <coughs> accepting any invalid input invalid in, uh, invalid string uh, at that time this uh, last point will be required uh, that means we have to we should not provide any transition or move for any particular invalid situation then what will happen automatically machine will halt and machine should halt in that situation because that is the invalid situation because that situation never can arise if the uh, string is valid uh, following the pattern of any language that particular situation can never arise so that means that situation is arising from any invalid string. So um, for that particular situation, we should not provide any move. So what will happen? Machine will halt, and that is desirable. Machine should halt. Otherwise, it will accept the invalid string. So this point <coughs> will require in those cases to prevent accepting the invalid string by any PDA. But in general, we should uh, keep in mind this point that if there is no transitional move for any particular situation, then the machine halts. So similarly, say uh, this point uh, may be required if you are uh, constructing a PDA uh, wrongly. That means say for any uh, valid string also, a valid situation that can arise for, uh, for that situation also, you have not provided any transitional move. Then also machine will halt. That means in general, this, is, this point will be valid. If there is no transitional move for any particular situation, then the machine holds. Now, for any valid uh, <coughs> strings, valid situation, for any valid strings, valid situation, if we don't provide any move, that means our PDA design is wrong. Because that is a valid strings, valid situation. That means that situation can arise uh, <coughs> at any of the steps during showing the acceptance of that valid string but we have not provided any move or transition for the situation so what will happen machine will halt naturally and that is not desirable here because that is a valid situation for any valid string that situation can arise uh, in any of the steps during showing the acceptance of that string because that is a valid string so in that case our PDA design is wrong okay so this point will be required in both the cases to prevent accepting the invalid string and to um, enable or facilitate the acceptance of the valid string in both the cases we uh, have to uh, we, we may require this point to remember if there is no transitional move for any particular situation then the machine holds next now we'll start solving some examples some solve examples are given here first one is construct the uh, PDA for the language given a to the power n b to the power n this is on context free language uh, this is not uh, regular language we have discussed earlier during regular uh, expression and NFADFA discussion that a to the power n b to the power n this is one example which cannot be regular language because we cannot <coughs> construct any regular expression for this particular language but it is context free language so since it is context free language already you have generated uh, the context free grammar for this language when you have discussed uh, context free grammar before the mid -sum. so um, since it is context free language obviously um, its machine part is PDA that must be possible so now we have to construct the PDA for this language a to the word and b to the burden so here actually uh, the slide is showing all the transitions all the valid transitions all the desired transitions uh, to construct this PDA um, for this language a to the word and b to the word n. but before that um, I am telling the logic uh, for each uh, PDA constructing of each PDA like normal programming uh, language when you are uh, when you are uh, writing any program you are uh, providing some logic 
we are providing some algorithm to write any program so similarly here for uh, constructing any pd also there is some logic like programming logic there is some logic so here what is the logic logic is that we can design in this way that uh, whenever we will encounter one a in the string um, following the pattern a to the word and b to the word and whenever we will encounter uh, each and every a all the a's will be pushed into the stack okay so this will be continued till all the a's we are not crossing whenever we will uh, encounter the b first b at that time one a will be popped from the stack so this same Mm, method will be continued same step will be continued for all other remaining b's subsequent b's uh, for each and every b we will pop one a from the stack and eventually if we see in this way mm, only the initial symbol in the stack z0 remains so z0 should be there initially in the stack whenever uh, when we uh, when we start constructing any pda at that time stack should not be empty because stack should be empty only after the acceptance announcement of the acceptance so initially stack should not be empty so initially uh, it contains only one symbol z0 so whenever uh, uh, this situation will arise that means uh, all the a's have been popped corresponding to encountering all the b's uh, at that time if only z0 remains that means obviously we can conclude that number of a and number of b are same because uh, corresponding to uh, encountering each B, we have popped one A. So that means uh, number of A and number of B are same. That means uh, number of A's that have been pushed earlier before encountering all the B's. That same number of B's are present in the stream. That's why when we are popping one A um, during encountering one B, in this way eventually all the a's have been popped after encountering all the b's and eventually only z0 remains it means that number of a and number of b are same so in this way we have to construct the pda this is one example in this way for all the pds we have to do we have to first of all think that which are the valid strings for the given language that means which are the strings that can be generated by following the pattern of the given language only those strings should be accepted not a single invalid string should be accepted too. we have discussed this point earlier also and keeping in mind that uh, keeping in mind this point um, another thing we have to uh, remember here in pda stack concept is present so that's why stack concept is used here because you are using lifo structure or stack concept the programming solving uh, programming solving means here construction of the PDA um, because it is nothing but like the programming implemented implementation uh, we have to develop some logic uh, for constructing of the PDA like <coughs> we develop some logic to write any program so using the four concept or stack concept construction of the PDA or program solving or problem solving becomes easier and it is uh, it gives a much more flexible way to construct any PDA when we use the stack concept default concept and this was not present in final automata that's why uh, so many uh, problems or so many languages uh, sorry so many problems or uh, so many uh, strings uh, we uh, could not actually uh, accept through the find automata like a to the word and b to the word and this uh, this was not possible to accept using find automata because stack concept was not there so since your stack concept is present find automata plus stack this combining the pda so it is giving you additional tool or additional weapon uh, this default structure of stack to um, solve different problem to design different problem so more number of problems more number of uh, languages uh, can be actually uh, accepted here which was not possible using find automata because stack concept was not there so this is the additional tool that's why stack has been introduced here like here uh, to solve this problem a to the word b to the word n we can push some symbol in the stack and then whenever we require we can pop those those uh, push symbols from the stack 
so using the to, this way a to the power n b to the power n uh, can be accepted so the uh, this is one language similarly so many other languages can be accepted using pda because stack concept is uh, present here so lifo structure is present so using lifo structure uh, we can show the acceptance of those languages uh, it gives you additional tool additional weapon uh, and making the pda much more efficient than finite automata because in finite automata stack concept was not there and that's why uh, these types of languages like a to the word and b to the word and some more languages are there we'll see could not be accepted using finite automata and that's why we have uh, announced that time that a to the word and b to the word and this language is not uh, regular language it is not uh, type 3 language rather than it is type 2 language <coughs> that is context free language because yes stack concept is there using stack concept or default structure uh, we can <coughs> show the acceptance so that is uh, this stack is providing uh, so what all we can say the stack is providing uh, the additional structure here uh, additional tool here adi additional weapon here uh, more flexible one uh, tool mm, more efficient one tool uh, using which we can show the acceptance of so many additional languages that could not be accepted using finite automata so that's why actually we have discussed if you can remember in the initial classes that uh, in the hierarchy the lower most level it is coming type 3 language regular language then in the upper most level it is coming not the not in the upper most level just in uh, one level higher than uh, type 3 it, it comes type 2 language that is uh, context free language and we have discussed that time several times we have discussed if you can remember in the class that all the type 3 languages that means all the regular languages uh, will be accepted by the pda that means the corresponding machine part of the type 2 language but all the uh, languages of type 2 that is context free language cannot be accepted by the finite automata that is the machine part of the type 3 this is the reason because uh, in finite automata there is an additional concept uh, additional tool like stack is present but in pda additional tool like stack is present so pda that's why it is called in an actual finite automata plus stack so all uh, languages that can be accepted by finite automata will be accepted by pda also uh, and some additional languages it is accepting pda these additional languages cannot be accepted by finite automata because their stack concept is not present so that's why pda is much more efficient much more flexible than finite automata because stack concept is present here so here main keyword or main theme in the pda is a stack repo structure so now let us <coughs> see that according to the logic that i have discussed how the transitions we have written so transition one that is uh, we are in the initial stack q0 initial state q0 current input symbol is a 1a is uh, present the very first day of the string very first symbol of the string and initial symbol in the stack is z0 because we have seen stack will not be empty initially one initial symbol will be present and uh, this is the left hand side of the transition function so three entities are there in the left hand side of the transition function we have seen the general form that is the uh, current state current input symbol and the stack top symbol and the right hand side two entities that the new transited state so here transited state uh, is same we are not going to a new state so this is possible like finite automata also transient state can be same or mm, new like we have done in finite automata we can even remain in the same state or we can go to new state so here new state is actually also q0 and what we are doing according to the logic all the a's will push into the stack so what we are doing we are pushing a into the stack so we have seen the general form earlier of the transition or move that uh, second entity in the right hand side of the transition function will be the push symbol so here which symbol will push a and the current topmost symbol so current topmost symbol is what initially that is just zero so these two combination we have to write as a second entity in the right hand side of the transition function so what we are getting q0 comma a z0 so that we have written in the right hand side understood so um, now we have pushed one a in, into the stack so obviously current topmost symbol in the stack is not z0 anymore it is becoming a 
so another situation is coming now when next day will come in the string so current input symbol will be a current state is still q0 because we have not changed the state but now current topmost symbol of the stack is not z0 it is a so this is the new situation so this i was referring earlier the situation means combination of these three entity current state current input symbol and current stack topmost symbol uh, stack topmost symbol current stack topmost symbol okay current topmost symbol in the stack so this three combination uh, if any of these entities are different or all are different but any of these entities are different that we can say minimum at least then new situation is arising so here we can see uh, the first two entity q0a exactly same like t1 but the third entity that is uh, current uh, topmost symbol in the stack that is different okay that is varying that is not z0 that is a so this is giving you new combination new combination means new situation so for each new situation as we have discussed one new uh, move will be there one new transition you have to <coughs> provide and obviously for valid situations not for invalid situations okay so for valid invalid situation means the situation that can arise from the valid string uh, an invalid situation means the situation that can arise from invalid string so for valid situation each valid situ new situation we have to provide one new move so we have provided here one new move or transition that is t2 so what we are getting the logic is what as we will encounter all the a we will push into the stack so here also we have pushed into the stack a so pushing push symbol is a and current topmost symbol is not z0 it is a so these two combination we have to write uh, in the right hand side second entity that is uh, push symbol and the current topmost symbol in the stack these two combinations so what we are getting a so q0 comma a this is the second transition <coughs> now in this way uh, all the a's we are encountering all will be pushed so all those pushing can be handled by t2 only so that i was telling if there are 15 steps during showing the acceptance of our string that does not mean 15 different transitions have to give we have to provide one transition for one new situation so situation will be same now if there is hard a then also uh, situation will be same that means this combination current state current input symbol and current top symbol in the stack this combination is same because we have not changed the state so we'll still remain in q0 uh, new input symbol will also be a and current top move symbol is also a because you are pushing only a so current top move symbol is a so situation is same combination is same so q0 a a so in t2 so this uh, transition only it can handle all the subsequent uh, situations uh, till a is appearing so that's why we have not provided a new move for uh, the subsequent situations till a is appearing so all those situations will be handled by t2 that is q0 comma a comma a it will be q0 a a we are pushing a in this way we will cross all the a then we will encounter first b so when we will we'll encounter first b new situation is coming because current state is still q0 we have not changed the state but now current input symbol is no more a it is becoming b so q0 b is coming so at least one uh, of the entities in the left hand side of the transition function if it is varying then we have already discussed we will say that new situation is coming so now q0 b and current topmost symbol in the stack is still a because we have not popped anything till now and earlier we have pushed on the a s uh, into the stack so now situation is q0 b a that we can see in t3 so situation is different now <coughs> q0 same uh, third entity a is also same but the second entity is b because that means second entity is a kind input symbol is b earlier it was a so this combination is uh, new now so for each new combination uh, of current state kind input symbol and stacks of one symbol we say that new situation has arised so new situation has arised so for new situation what you have discussed we have to provide one new move so that's why we have provided one new move in t3 and what is the move what is the action will be here action is here we have already discussed the logic as and when we will encounter b um, one b one a will be popped from the stack so we are popping uh, the current top symbol from the stack and we have seen uh, earlier in the general form of the um, non-null move or null move in both the cases uh, <clears throat> if we pop 
uh, current open symbol from the stack the second entry in the right hand side of the transition function will be epsilon so here we have written q1 epsilon now we have written here q1 the state number is changing now why, why we are changing the state number if we don't change the state number if we still remain in q0 so what will happen that till last if we remain in q0 then the t5 last transition will become q0 epsilon z0 and it will right hand side will become q0 epsilon <clears throat> then what will happen that means uh, we are uh, popping the initial symbol also z0 from the stack and we are making stack empty and uh, we are remaining in which state q0 so q0 is the initial state so in initial state that means if we provide epsilon that means if we don't provide any valid symbol if we provide only epsilon as a string then it will be accepted because we are making stack empty because here we are showing the acceptance to empty stack we have already decided uh, discussed earlier that um, for any valid string or invalid string whatever it may be if the entire string has been consumed after that by any house stack is becoming empty whatever be the string uh, nature invalid or valid it will be announced as accepted so since here if we provide epsilon that means uh, not a valid string and uh, we are in initial state q0 and we are uh, popping that z0 initial symbol from the stack so stack is becoming empty so in that case uh, epsilon would have been accepted so but we have to prevent it because the language it is given the condition n greater than equal to 1 so at least uh, 1a or 1b should be there in the string uh, because n is greater than equal to 1 so uh, minimum value of n is 1 so at least 1a one and 1b will be there in the string so minimum uh, string that is possible from this language is ab so epsilon is not valid so epsilon is invalid so epsilon should not be accepted so that's why we have to change the state here so that's why we are changing the state in t3 we are uh, shifting from q0 to q1 now we are in q1 so situation is again changing now <coughs> next input symbol is also b another b because uh, if n is greater than one then more than one a more than one b can appear in the string so for each possible situation we have to give um, each, each possible new situation distinct situation we have to provide one more so if second b appears so what is the situation now current input symbol is b but current state is what now q1 because we have changed the state in the last transition for the first time so now it is no more q0 it is becoming q1 so q1 b and the stack top one symbol is what a because if second b is present in the string then um, obviously um, second a is also present in the string because a to the word and b to the word that is the pattern so if second b is present in the string second a is also present in the string in the valid string obviously not in valid string and we have to show the acceptance only for valid string so that means uh, we have pushed both the a's to the stack and in t3 what we have done we have popped only one a that means another a still remains in the stack so <clears throat> currently again stack top most symbol is a so what is the situation now in t4 q1 ba so q1 ba we have not seen earlier in t1 t2 t3 so this is a new situation so that means combination is new with the current state current input symbol and the <clears throat> current stack top most symbol in the stack the situation is new so what we are seeing for this new situation uh, <clears throat> we have to provide we have already discussed we have to provide one new move so we are providing new move new move is over. what is the logic we have discussed that for each b encountering each b we have to pop one a so we are popping one uh, we are popping the current topmost symbol from the stack and topmost symbol is a in the left hand side of t4 you can see the third entity that is a so we are popping it so after popping we know the second entity in the right hand side of the transition function should be epsilon so we have written that and first entry in the right hand side of the transition function is q1 so because we are not changing the state here here it is not required to change the state so as and when you will uh, um, design you will construct more pds it will be clear to you when we need to change the state when to not whenever it is required to change the state we will change the state but always we don't need to uh, we don't uh, require to change the state whenever we will see that any invalid string uh, is going to be accepted uh, if we don't change the state then only change the state so we have done q1 epsilon <laughs> so in this way uh, all the b's when we are encountering uh, all those situations all those new situations can be handled by t4 only so we don't need uh, any other new move for handling the subsequent b's 
because the situation will be same because we are still in q1 and we'll encounter another b so it will be q1 b kind input symbol is b and stack top most symbol will be still a because we have pushed only a we have not pushed any b so situation will be what q1 b a so situation is same for this situation you have to provide one new move so this situation uh, can handle all the subsequent bs so we are not providing a new move t4 can handle all this so in each case what we are doing we are popping one a that is a popping the current topmost symbol from the stack and current topmost symbol is a we can see in t4 the left hand side of t4 third entity is a so in this way we are uh, crossing the entire string now each and every symbol of the string has been consumed so only epsilon remains that means interesting interesting has been consumed obviously valid string not invalid string and finally um, we have to make stack empty to show the acceptance because stack is still not empty initially it contains z0 when we uh, have started uh, constructing the pda initially z0 was there so we have to pop out the z0 we have to make stack empty so what we will do that's why we have given t5 the last transition so what is the situation now we are still in q1 because we have uh, shifted to q1 only after that we have not changed we have not changed to other states so uh, current state is q1 and uh, second entity in the left hand side is epsilon now because uh, interesting has been consumed so no more high symbols are there so only epsilon is there so this is the example that we are we are implementing the null move so we have seen earlier the two types of moves are there basically non null move and null move so here we are implementing the null move in the t5 so null move epsilon um, epsilon is a um, null symbol we are using here in place of current input symbol so this is a null move because interesting has been consumed all the valid symbols have been consumed and current of most symbol in the stack is z0 because all a and b um, sorry all a have been popped from the stack so again z0 which was there initially it has come <coughs> at the top most of the stack so now we have to copy it out and make the stack empty so the action will be what we will still even in q1 and current top one symbol from the stack z0 has to be popped so we, we have popped it and we, we have seen earlier in both null and non null and null move that whenever we are popping any symbol uh, from the stack that that means the current top one symbol the second entity in the right hand side of the transition function will be epsilon so that we have given q1 epsilon so this is our uh we have constructed the pda so pda construction means just you have to show the different transitions different transitions uh required to handle each and every possible distinct uh, new situation okay so these transitions you have to show um, obviously for valid string situations means for valid string not for invalid string and then our pda construction will be over so here q0 is initial state z0 is initial symbol in the stack and epsilon is the null symbol and our pd is deterministic because um, we have discussed earlier what is deterministic non deterministic deterministic means for each possible situation that means in each transition there will be only one move so you can see here in each transition there is only one move that means in t1 also there is only one way t2 also t3 t4 t5 in each and every transition only one move is there so if there is only one move in each and every transition not in one or two transition in each and every transition if there is only one move that is deterministic but if at least one transition is there <coughs> listen properly at least one i am telling okay not all at least one transition is there uh, where uh, more than one moves are possible then the pda will become deter non deterministic okay so in that case we don't need to check what is going on in other transitions if at least one transition is there where you can see more than one moves are there the pd will become non deterministic but to be deterministic in each and every transition listen the point properly in each and every transition only one and only one move should be there so this is uh, all about the language l a to the value and b to the value so in this way we can construct the pda for this so that's why uh, we have discussed uh, this earlier we have uh, this um, we have uh, floated this question in the class also that it will be where uh, whether the language a to the word and b to the word and is regular uh, or not so we have seen uh, it was not regular because we cannot construct the regular expression for that so subsequently we can construct the finite automata for that and this is the reason 
uh, for which we could not uh, construct the uh, find out one for the, that because here we have to check that as many a that many b's are present or not so this can only be possible using the first structure implementation using stack implementation because stack or the structure gives us a flexible way or additional tool uh, more efficient way to solve different problems so uh, since stack concept was not present in finite automata so stack concept was not present in finite automata so this language could not be accepted by the finite automata but now pda can be constructed for this <coughs> that means it is a context free language <coughs> now turning to the next example a to the power n b to the power n again the same language but here n greater than equal to zero that means here n can be minimum value can be zero that means epsilon is here value string so in this case what we will do uh, <clears throat> almost uh, similar transitions will be there like the last one but here uh, one difference we are not changing the state because that i mentioned in the during discuss in the last example if we remain in q0 till last so the last transition will be q, q0 epsilon z0 Whereas in the first example we have seen the last transition was Q1 epsilon Z0. So since we are still remaining Q0 in the initial state, uh, so what will happen that if we provide any string epsilon, it will also be accepted. And similarly, if n is greater than uh, 0, n, n1, n2, whatever be, then some valid symbols will come uh, combining of A and B, those will also be accepted. So here, uh, all other transitions are uh, similar uh, like the last one so i don't want to um, explain it anymore only one thing uh, that means we are adding here that is we are not changing the state we are remaining in q0 so your initial state q0 will remain uh, same till the end and uh, in the last transition t4 instead of writing q1 epsilon z0 we are writing q0 epsilon z0 so that means we are in initial state q0 we are providing one epsilon string and current open symbol is yet zero mm, that means we have not pushed any uh, symbol in the stack uh, any other symbol in the stack a or b whatever b and then this is the situation so what we are doing in the right hand side of t4 you can see that q0 will remain same that means we are remaining in the initial state q0 and we are popping the current open symbol from the stack uh, that is z0 we are popping and that's why second entity in the right hand side of t4 uh, has be become epsilon that means we are uh, emptying the stack that means stack is becoming <coughs> empty stack becomes empty and stack becomes empty for which string that is epsilon that means epsilon is accepted because we have seen for whatever be the string invalid or valid event testing has been consumed and at that time stack has become empty by anyhow we are making stack empty then that string will be accepted so here string is epsilon we are providing epsilon in t4 uh, <coughs> instead of any valid uh, input symbol a or b we are providing epsilon and in the right hand side of t4 um, second end it is epsilon that means we are popping z0 that means we are making the stack empty so for epsilon stack is becoming empty and we are in which state we are in state q0 initially so initial obviously initially will be in q0 and at that time we are providing epsilon so uh, that means initially I, uh, we can provide one uh, string epsilon and uh, since for that uh, string epsilon uh, stack is becoming empty so it is accepted so that is actually criteria whatever be the string nature invalid or valid if the entire string has been consumed uh, and simultaneously stack has become empty we are making stack empty anyhow then that string will be accepted so here epsilon is accepted and similarly this is also deterministic pda because you can see for each transition t1 t2 t3 t4 there is one and only one move not more than one moves are there if at least one transition is present for which more than one moves are present then that will be non-deterministic so here the pda is deterministic Now another example that is WCWR uh, that means here actually the string pattern is uh, this is the language WCWR in general pattern has been given for this language so the pattern is uh, W is a string of A and B um, um, but at least one A or B will be there because plus is given uh, and after that one symbol C will come single time it will come C in the string C will appear single time and then wr that means the reverse of dot w that means whatever we have written in the w that is a combination of a and b 
entirely that string will be reversed after C. So that's why WR. So this is a pattern of the language. So by following this pattern, different value strings, numerous value strings can be generated. Numerous value strings can be generated, and all those value strings actually must be accepted by the PDA. Uh, and accordingly, we have to design the corresponding PDA. So what is the logic here? So I am telling the logic before. Uh, I'm discussing the transitions T1 to T11. The logic is here. Whenever we'll encounter any value symbol A or B before the symbol C, we'll push it to the stack. Whatever be the symbol A or B before C, whatever we are getting, push it. And then, uh, and at that time, we are not changing the state. Whenever we are encountering C, the single symbol C will appear in any string at that time we are changing the state for the first time q0 to q1 after c whenever we are getting a or b at that time if the same symbol that we are encountering that same symbol appears at the topmost of the stack then only we will pop it so this is the logic in this if we do then the exactly reverse portion <coughs> if it is mentioned in any string of the w of the w portion before c that means those are the value strings then all those value strings will only, only be accepted if we proceed in this logic then not a single invalid string will be accepted so what we have done this is the logic so in t1 what we have done situation is what current initial state is q0 current input symbol is a current input symbol can be a or b anything because before c a or, a or b anything can be there because we are we are seeing from the language pattern w belongs to a a comma b but positive closure that means at least one a, a a or b should be there that means w should not be epsilon it is not star closure so a comma b so it can be a also first symbol or it can be b also so for both the situation we have to provide one more because both are valid so if it is a so q0 is 80 what we are doing logic what i told before c whatever we are getting we are pushing so we are pushing a into the stack so q0 is 80 it is becoming so we are pushing a and push symbol and the current open symbol is 80 so these two combinations we are pushing into the stack so it is becoming a 0 and the second entity the right hand side of t1 similarly first symbol can be b also then in that case we will push b into the stack so it will become b 0 we are not changing the state in both these cases so uh, new transitor state will also remain in q0 here we don't need to change the state so you will understand when we need to change the state if it is required then only change the state here it is not required. When we will encounter C, then we will change the state. That means changing of the state is required. Only when we will see that if we don't change the state, then some contradictory moves are coming. That means uh, for uh, two different situations, say, same move is there if it is coming. That means in that case, machine will be in confusion that two different situations are there, but one same move is there. So which move has to be followed? Okay. So in that case, actually, you know, we need to change the state or if you see some invalid string is going to be accepted if we don't change the state like we have seen in the first example if we don't change from q0 to q1 f7 will be accepted so in those cases we need to change the state so q0 bz0 q0 b bz0 then t3 the, uh, if we push a to the stack uh, if we encounter a as a first symbol we will push a to the stack so uh, a will become the new topmost symbol in the stack z0 will not remain anymore so, so first situation is coming if again a is appearing um, as a second symbol in the uh, input string uh, or b is appearing then uh, current input symbol will be either a or b so t3 t4 tells that q0 a q0 b and <coughs> current uh, topmost symbol in the stack is a because we have pushed a so q0 a q0 b a so these two situations uh, that means if the um, second symbol is a current open symbol is a and second input symbol is b current open symbol is a so these are two new situations so these two situations will be handled by t3 and t4 so in both these cases what we are doing we are pushing uh, the current input symbol in the stack so in the t3 current input symbol is a we are pushing that so it is becoming a in the right hand side in t4 current input symbol is b that we are pushing so it is becoming uh, b a in the right hand side okay then another situation can arise that for example if we have pushed b uh, as the very first symbol that we have encountered if it is b then b we have pushed to the stack so b has become the currently topmost 
so b is becoming currently topmost <coughs> and second symbol um, can be anything it can be a or b anything because here it is told w is a string of a or a, a or b so first symbol can be anything a or b second symbol can also be anything a or b so if the second symbol is a or b both for both the situation we have to provide two different moves and very first symbol is b so we have pushed that into the stack so b is becoming the topmost so in t5 t6 we are mentioning that that topmost symbol is b so third entity is b in both the cases in the left hand side of t5 t6 and uh, in t5 second entity in the left hand side is a that means if the if the current input symbol is a as the second symbol and t6 uh, left hand side second entity is b that means if the current input symbol is b um, as the second uh, uh, symbol in the string so these two situations we are mentioning two different situations q0 ab and q0 bb in both the cases current open symbol is b so two different situations are coming two different combinations are coming of current <coughs> state current input symbol and current open symbol in the stack so for these two new situations we have to provide two different new moves so that we have discussed earlier for each new distinct situation one new move will be there so what will be the action action will be same logic i have already discussed for each and every symbol encountering before c uh, we are pushing the symbol to the stack so we are pushing here in t5 a uh, is the current input symbol we are encountering so we are pushing a to the stack and current topmost is b so combination will be a b and that we are writing as a second entity the right hand side and in t6 current input symbol is b current topmost symbol is also b so combination is becoming bb so bb we are writing uh, as a second entity the right hand side so t5 is in this way all the symbols before c that is all a and b <coughs> that we are encountering can be handled by all these transitions t1 to t6 so t1 to t6 can handle whatever be the symbol appearing before c as many symbols appearing before c but those symbols will be only <coughs> within a and b all those symbols can be handled <coughs> all those situations related to these symbols can be handled by t1 to t6 transitions only so we don't need any more transitions uh, to handle the situations appearing um, for the symbols appearing before c now if we encounter c what we will do we will change the state so we are changing the state uh, q0 ca in t7 we are going to q1a so we are not taking any action here in the stack so this is the another variation that we have seen in null move and non-null move general form the third variation that uh, no pushing or popping in the stack uh, then uh, current of symbol in the stack in the left hand side and current of symbol in the stack right hand side will remain same so in t7 uh, third entity in the left hand side is a and right hand side second entity is also a similarly in t8 uh, we are encountering c so we are changing the state from q0 to q1 and the second entity in the right hand side is b and the third entity uh, in the left hand side is also b that means current topmost symbol in the stack remaining same so in this way we are shifting the state from q0 to q1 so machine has gone now to q1 so now we are in q1 and in the state q1 what the logic i have told after c after c the symbol that we are encountering obviously within a and b because w is a string of a and b and wr is exactly the reverse of that so wr will also be the string of a and b so whenever we are encountering any a and the same symbol a if it appears in the topmost of the stack then uh, then only will pop similarly if we encounter b if same symbol b appears at the topmost of the stack then only will pop so that we are doing in t9 and <coughs> t10 so we are now in state q1 because in t7 and t8 we have changed the state uh, to q0 to q1 and another thing uh, for c when we are encountering c why, why we have uh, mentioned two different moves t7 and t8 because uh, whenever we are encountering c current topmost uh, symbol in the stack can be a also or current topmost symbol in the stack can be b also because uh, whenever we, are, we have encountered a or b before c whatever symbol we have encountered that we have uh, pushed into the stack so if we have encountered a we have pushed a to the stack if we have encountered b we have pushed b to the stack so we don't know current topmost symbol in the stack is what a or b so both the situations are valid so that depends on the string so we have to provide uh, two different moves for these two different situations that's why in t7 we have written q0 ca and t8 
T8 we have written Q0CB. So current topmost symbol in the stack can be A also or it can be B also. That's why two different moves for encountering C in Q0. After that we have shifted to Q1. So now the machine is in state Q1. So in Q1 if we have if we encounter A, A that means after C if we encounter A will not pop directly. We have to check that same A is appearing um, as the current of most symbol in the stack or not. If it appears then only will pop that A from the stack. So that's why uh, we have written Q1A. We, we will not write Q1AB. If it is Q1AB we will not pop. If it is Q1A we are popping. So we are popping. So second entity in the right hand side is becoming epsilon T9. Similarly in T10 we have written Q1BB. So if B is encountered after C and directly will not pop the current topmost symbol from the stack if the same topmost symbol b is appears uh, in the stack then only current topmost symbol b will pop from the stack so <clears throat> in t10 it is becoming q1 bb so if it is bb will then only will pop if it is ba will not pop so we are popping it here and uh, <clears throat> that's why the right hand side uh, second entity is becoming here epsilon uh, we are popping so we will not provide any move for q1 ab <clears throat> and similarly q1 ba that means after c if we encounter a and current open symbol is b then we will not pop similarly after c if we encounter b and current open symbol is a that means q1 ba will not pop okay so these two moves we have not given so these are two invalid moves. so this is the way to design any pda for every valid situation that can arise that you have to think earlier and accordingly you have to provide one transition for that but for invalid situation you should not provide any move for invalid situation if we provide any move then invalid string will be accepted so here we have not provided any move for q1 a b or q1 b a we have provided move only for q1 a a and q1 b b okay because the logic is if the um, wr if wr is exactly correct reverse of w then the first symbol that is appearing after c exactly will be the last symbol before c isn't it because if the string is w is a b a a b a or a b b say a b b so after c it will be b b a so before c what appears b so after c also if it is correct reverse it, it, it will be b and before c is uh, second last was also b so after c the second one will also be b if it is correct reverse and before c the third last was a so after c the third one will also be a if it is correct reverse so that's why whatever we have pushed before c the last one very last one that we have pushed before c must be the first one after c so that's why current topmost symbol if it is uh, a in the stack that means before c a was appearing so after C will also A should appear if it is current reverse. So in that case, what is the situation? Q1, current topmost symbol is A and current input symbol is also A. So A, we should pop. Similarly for B. So that's why we have written the logic in this way. In T9 and T10, if it is Q1A, that be current input symbol, current topmost symbol same, then only pop. Similarly Q1, B, B, current input symbol, current topmost symbol is same, then only pop. Okay, understood? So we will not provide any move for Q1AB or Q1BA. Those are two invalid situations. They cannot uh, arise, these two situations cannot arise in any valid string following the pattern WCWR. Okay. Similar, so in this way, uh, all the situations that can arise, all the distinct new situations that can arise after C can be handled only by T and T9 and T10. So we don't need any other move for this. So this is the way that we have discussed earlier also for every new possible distinct situation one move not for every possible step okay so t9 and t10 can handle all the subsequent situations that can arise for the symbols appearing after c so in this way entire string will be consumed and uh, finally we have to make the stack empty that means uh, no no more valid symbol is present so uh, current input symbol will be epsilon so that we have given in t t11 second entity current input symbol is epsilon that means again example of implementing null move current input symbol is not valid symbol a b it rather than it is epsilon so and uh, current state is q1 because we have changed only to q1 we have uh, not gone to q2 or like that so current state is still q1 so q1 epsilon and 
all the valid symbols have been consumed from the value stream so only z0 remains in the stack because z0 was initially there stack we have to make now empty initially it was not empty when you have started z0 was there <coughs> here also we are showing the acceptance to empty stack so we have to make any of the stack empty so to make the stack empty what you have to do z0 you have to pop so that we have done in t11 we have popped z0 and since uh, if we pop any symbol from the stack the second entity in the right hand side of the transition functions becomes epsilon so that we have written t1 epsilon so in this way uh, t1 to t11 uh, is constructing or is designing the entire pda for the language wcwr where w belongs to a comma b positive closer and similarly here the this pda is also deterministic because you can see from t1 to t11 for each transition or for uh, each possible situ new situation there is only one way of movement for each transition there is only one move okay so it is obviously deterministic now going to the next slide a to the power 2n b to the power n so we'll discuss it uh, in the next uh, audio video uh, lecture uh, this example number four <clears throat> next one is wwr Mm, w belongs to a comma b positive closer this we will also discuss in the uh, next audio video lecture if you can understand it because similar in the similar way uh, we have to understand it like we have uh, discussed uh, example one two three similarly example four and five will also be um, actually understood should also be understood in this way uh, the logic you can easily uh, understand from the transitions given here uh, but if you cannot understand, I will discuss it in the next audio video lecture. And then some unsolved problems for practice. So the problems that you have discussed here, uh, similar type of problems have been given, uh, unsolved problems for, for your practice purpose. Okay, thank you. Then we will again meet in the next audio video lecture.